Hey, it's Connor. Welcome to iFanboy Mini. My Fanboy Mini is the paperback size version of the hardcover size iFanboy, the comic book show. Today I want to talk to you about a book that I read recently that I really enjoyed a lot. It's called It's Superman from writer Tom DeHaven. This was published in conjunction with DC Comics. They had their hands in it. They were in charge of it. Um, it was originally published in 2005 by Chronicle Books in hardcover, and this is the Ballantine Books version. Um, soft cover we released it came out in 2006 and it's got a really neat cover it's a cell from a Fleischer anime cartoon one of those old Superman Fleischer cartoons that are fantastic and it's a really striking cover Superman holding up a building what this story is it's a really neat tale it's sort of Elseworldsy I mean it's not a Superman that's very familiar and which is interesting considering that DC was the primary engine behind the book it's, a, it's set in the 1930s which is when Superman was, was born in, in our world in 1938 and Clark Kent is a farm boy in Kansas, uh, but Lex Luthor is, is, is in government in New York City. There's no metropolis. It takes place in New York City. And um, he's an alderman with designs to rise in power. And, and this is, there's, so there's parallel storytelling going on because the traditional setup, Superman, Lo Lois Lane, Lo Lex Luthor all together in the city, doesn't happen until the very end of the book. So that you're paralleling Lex Luthor, you're paralleling Clark Kent's journey, and Lois Lane. Lex Luthor is the bad guy alderman who has people whacked and is involved in bootlegging and all the stuff that's going on in the 30s as, as his corrupt rise to power. He has his eyes on the mayorship and, you know, president and blah, blah, blah. Lo Lois Lane is just out of journalism school. She wants to be a reporter. She's the, the 30s girl. She's, you know, she's got designs on independence and she's, she's not going to take any crap from anybody, but she's not afraid to sleep around and, and she's really beautiful and everybody likes her, and, but she's also a tough-nosed reporter and she's, she's trying to make her name for herself. Clark Kent is a farm boy in Kansas who, who we pretty much is familiar in the very beginning. But where it diverges is that Lois Lane's boyfriend is a sleazy kind of photographer guy and he witnesses a murder that Lex Luthor orders, gets photographs of it, and he has to go on the run because they're after him, and he ends up in Smallville through a whole bunch of things we won't get into. But he ends up in Smallville, meets Clark Kent, and then some stuff happens in Smallville, and Clark Kent and Willie, the photographer, end up on a cross-country journey because Clark realizes that there's nothing left for him in Smallville. He, so he, he and Willie like, ride the train like hobos, and they, they hitchhike, and they end up on this journey where Clark starts to see that there's more in the world than just Kansas, and there's more stuff that he needs, to, he needs to focus on. He's got these abilities, but in the past he didn't really use them for the good of the people. He sees that people are downtrodden, he sees that there's racial problems, one of, his, one of the people he was friends with in, in Smallville was black, and now he sees outside of his bubble, there's pro he sees the, the, the hardship of the 1930s, really, and that's where he learns his values, and that he's got to be, be a hero to the people. And actually, they end up in Hollywood, where Clark stays a while, and as a stuntman, he makes his money as a stuntman, he shacks up with this girl who's a costume designer, that's how he gets a Superman costume, ends up Eventually in New York City, where Lois is now a reporter and Lex Luthor is ri rising through his power grab, and, and then it all comes to a head, and where the traditional battle, but Lois is annoyed by Clark, Clark is in love with Lois, you know, it's just the normal thing, but the journey to get to that point is all very unique and new, and I really loved it. It was a fast read. My friend Ryan gave me this book because he, he, he thought I would like it, and he described it as Steinbeck writing Smallville, and he's really, it's really pretty accurate. It's very, one of the most interesting takes of Superman I've, ever, I've read in a while, and there's been a lot of talk on iFanboy.com lately about Superman, and I think that people would really enjoy it. There's lots of real people in it. Uh, Fiora Little Gordy is the mayor. Uh, Joe Kennedy's in it because there's a lot of bootlegging going on. Uh, FDR's in it. Um, Dewey, I believe, is in it. A lot of mobsters from the time are accurate. So it's, it's set in the real world in that sense, but there's also the fantastical Superman elements. And it's just very unique, and there's giant robots. It's just, it's a very 30s tale, and it's, Superman's very appropriate for the 30s. And it's just a fantastic book. I loved it, loved it, loved it. So check out It's Superman. If you have any questions, email me at contact at ifanboy.com and check out our weekly show, iFanboy, every Wednesday at 3 p.m. on revision3.com slash ifanboy. It's available for download then and all throughout the week. Thanks for t watching. Talk to you next time.